One of the great truths revealed to us in the Bible is that God longs to know us and to be known by us. That Father, Son and Holy Spirit created us to be in relationship with God, to share in the divine life. And so we as Christians, one of our great longings and desires is to know God better, uh, to share more and more in who he is, uh, to know what he is like and to live the life that he calls us to. And to that end, uh, I'm starting a new series. This is the first video, a new series of videos uh, each day, four or five days a week, um, just three, four, five minutes long, just a, a short videos, um, helping us to think through uh, who God is and how we can know him better. To help us with that, uh, we're going to be using uh, this series of books called Frameworks. Uh, this is the first volume, Roots, uh, and it's a series written by Paul Blackham. If you want to follow along, then uh, it's about six or seven pounds or something like that from Amazon. Um, and it's a couple of pages each day uh, that we'll be working through. And yes, laying down some roots for our thinking and for our theology, our understanding of God and our worship of him. And the first day begins with Jesus really is the living God. Jesus really is the living God. It sounds so simple, but it's such a powerful, such an important truth for us to remember and to hold on to. One of the uh, subjects that you can study at school and colleges and universities nowadays is called religious studies. The studies of religion, uh, of how different religions think and believe and what they do and uh, their history and the politics perhaps even, uh, the people behind the religions. But as Christians we've never really been interested in religion and in religiousness and in the study of religions. Christians through many centuries have not engaged in religious studies but in theology, theos, the study of God. That's what we're truly about, not understanding the human setups and the in, uh, institutions and human ideas, but we are into the understanding of and the study of God himself. We want to know God and we want to be known by him. And that's what the Christian uh, uh, belief is founded on. That's what our understanding of God is, that he reveals to us, as I said before, that he wants to know us and to be known by us. And when we talk about theology, we're not talking about stuffy academia and sitting around just reading big, massive terms. We're about the relationship with the living God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. That's what we're invited to. And so as we study the Bible, as we think about theology, as we go through these videos, we're thinking about knowing God. And so that's why it's important for us to see and to remember that Jesus is really the living God. He is the living God. So as we study Jesus, as we engage with him, as we build our foundation on him, we are encountering and meeting with the living God himself, not just some mere religious person, but we are engaging with the divine. In Matthew chapter 7 in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus gives us a well-known parable of building a house on the rock, the wise man who builds his life, his house on the rock. And we're told that Jesus is that rock on which we are to build a firm foundation. And so over these next 30 days um, of study, as we go through this book, we'll be laying down some roots, building on Jesus, getting to know who God is, that we might enjoy life and fellowship relationship with him. Thanks for checking in. Uh, please keep an eye out on this YouTube channel um, for more videos in the days to come.